Hello, hi there gorgeous Libras. I do hope that you are well and welcome to my channel. I'm Bella and how I work is with the help of my spirit guides. How I do this is I intuit the energy that I get from spirit and the messages that they give me. And I'm also going to be putting some cards along the way just for some further clarity or any additional messages that might be worth you knowing about in regards to your love life. Sorry, this is a love reading for December 2021. I forgot to say that. And if you want to learn more about me and my services, the links are just down below. If you like this, do like, do subscribe or hit that notification bell if you want to see me again. There will be an extended to this reading. And again, if you would like to see that extended, the link is just down below. So let's do this, guys. So my guides are showing you in this situation, which can be interpreted many different ways. The first way that I want to interpret this is them saying, basically, you need to let go of holding on to the idea of a connection. Not because it's completely lost, but I've been getting this kind of message with a lot of people this December period, which is the, the idea or the energy or the letting go of it seems quite significant in order to draw towards you the right kind of love, which might include that person. The other way that I can interpret the same imagery they're giving me is that also there might be something that you might be holding on to that, that, that is pride or stubbornness or something that you need to also let go of, which would just release the energy in a much more positive way. And, and that might be understandable because you might be holding on, holding on for a person or holding on for wanting to have somebody back. You might be holding on to your marriage. You might be holding on to a connection, knowing that it's not good or not going anywhere or not coming back to you or not in the same way. But, um, but also at the same time, you might be holding on at a stubbornness or holding on to hope or holding on to... to um, or it might also be, let's reverse this a little bit. It might also be that perhaps you need to let go of pride or stubbornness which then will free up the energy for somebody else to come back to you like flip it and reverse it how it works with you but that there is definitely a thing with you guys about letting go of the thought or the idea of a connection in the way that it stands right now because it cannot be this way and the energies whether you'd seen this or not will be pushing you in that direction until you let go. There is something about this energy, and it might be the Venus retrograde energy that we have on the 19th, that is about <coughs> reversing things or releasing things. And in yours, the energy can only work in your favour if you can release and let go of the outcome or the desire or the want of this person. They're saying, and Spirit is saying as I say this, that they understand that it would require strength for you to do this, strength to forgive strength to let go, strength to move on, strength to bury it, however it is for you, because this is general, they understand that it is going to take strength for you to actually do that. But when you do, it's just quite an immediate effect. You know, it's quite cathartic. Sometimes we can hold on to things for so long, we get trapped in it, thinking, I can't let go, I can't let go. And then the moment, for whatever reason, triggers it, and this video could be it, but for whatever reason, we just let it go and say, that's it, okay, that person is not right for me right now, they're not good for me, they're not coming back, I'm done. You think you're going to suffer and you don't. I get an immediate, quite quick elevation once you truly do that. The energy then becomes not projected on them, it becomes projected on you. Things that have not perhaps been working out so well for you start to come back into place for you because the energy, which is a low vibration because that was your focus, becomes more balanced. It doesn't become like over the top you know, wonderful, not yet, but it becomes more balanced so the universe can work with you a little bit more better and you're just lighter, you're not so heavy as well. Things then start to align for you a lot better. They are indicating that, and again, you have to flip this and reverse this because I'm kind of getting mixed messages from my guys. They're saying some of you beforehand would have self-sabotaged, would have um, uh, done some behaviours that weren't good for you. Drinking, smoking, gambling, seeing other people, being self-destructive in whatever way that is. And if it's not you, they're saying your person in particular you've had to let go of, that's how they've been behaving. They have also been behaving in ways that have been destructive because they are needing to cope. They haven't been coping with things and that's the reason why they're not being connected to you. It's also the reason why they were not a good vibrational match for you. In fact, there's been a lot of reflection going on in energies, hence why I might be getting mixed messages because my guides are indicating some of you, some of them. M you know, matching energy. When someone sucks us down, 
and we get in that pit with them and we start reflecting each other. Well, now that you've bounced up because you've let it go and they're down here still suffering, it's going to be their job, their job to rise there. Or they automatically will match you and you'll become a new relationship. But if they stay down there, then they're not your person because you'll be here. Don't look down to see, <laughs> see my little hand puppets. You don't look down to see whether you should go and get them again because you've been trying to pull them up or try to pull them with you and you haven't. You're here, look away from them. It's their job now because they are being shown as selfish, self-indulgent, doing destructive things. And again, flip it and reverse it where it applies. Pretty much, Spirit is saying here, when you do that, and I've been saying this to everybody, it means you go into the new year, you cannot not not be, during the Venus retrograde uh, period, not be matched with somebody who matches this new balanced energy. When you're ready and willing, it will be matched to it. Now, let's go backwards with the person. Let's say you married them and you left. Let's say the next and you gave up on them because they're being wishy-washy. For those that do truly love you and are doing their own inner, inner work, and it won't be for everybody, but those who do do it and they bounce up to your level, it feels like they will, it won't take very long. <laughs> it's quite quick for them to do it. It's like sometimes people can feel the energy being broken and they're like, oh my God, you know, <laughs> I need to go spray my territory. I need to jump back up there. I need to be enlightened also too. Otherwise I'm going to lose my, my person. I'm going to lose my Libra. They will make leaps and bounds to match your energy and also leaps and bounds to communicate, leaps and bounds to be back and forth. Again, Flip and reverse this. If this is you, Libra, and you've got to this place, you might feel like you want to make a leap and bound into communicating with somebody because you're at that energy. I have to say it like that because I'm getting mixed messages from my guides. So this might be like half of you, <laughs> half of you, the message is one way and half is the other. So that's how it's feeling. <sighs> it will bring stability. And because there's big communication and a big leap up to your level, you can then face each other and have a conversation about whether you can reconnect in a new way, in a new, in a new version. Because it, it can't be that they're up there, don't need to drag you back down. And you would need to check that out for yourself. I wouldn't go into it too quickly. Not how it's been indicated. But I have to say, it, there is an indication that this has happened for a reason. Because Spirit are telling me off now. They're just saying to remind you that actually, regardless, you when you do that work, you are going to be given the balanced, healthy connection, even if it is them. They're just kind of re, re saying that to me so that I don't misconstrue what they're saying. They are also saying here that there is a high level of commitment that also comes from that because it's a reward to both energies, particularly where it was the ex, that you have then committed to thyself, your authentic self, and to the growth, which means that then. The gift for both of you is each other in this higher level place, but also some indication of it being also long term as well, which is amazing. This is really, really good. And for those of you where if that person comes back, but you're like, nah, you know, done, they got the T-shirt, just don't trust you, I don't want it. Don't be worried because the universe is going to align you with a new person that perhaps doesn't have the baggage or the history behind it also too. I think there's a lot of apologies and a lot of forgiveness and a lot of everything that goes on. In that situation and again my guides are reminding me that because we are in a new soulmate cycle for those who have these lessons and grow through it because not everybody will but if you can do that and that person does it too or even if you meet a new person you've got potential 10 12 years with this person so it is kind of worth it, it really is i pity the people have not seen this video <laughs> they, they may miss out that's how it's coming across so anyway some additional messages Let's see if there's any additional messages through cards at this stage yeah, they are saying again, you need to let go and move on. It's going to take you strength to do it. But you come out of those stormy waters to a calm shore, you'll be grounded. And there's a lot of grounded energy. And then with that just comes, comes the marriage card. <laughs> that's my marriage card. It means other things to me, but that's my marriage card. Comes the spirit just saying it, it brings commitment. High level of, of um, commitment. But right now you've got to work through the internal battle that you're having with yourself about whether you can trust that letting go brings you fortune. But think about this logically. Take this out. You know, think about this not being a psychic reading. Just by letting go of that, 
means you're not in this energy anymore. It can only bring you into positivity. So think about it in a more logical sense and not in fear based because that's, they, they want the best for you. You've seen this video for a reason. If you can do this, then it leads to happiness. They're still saying here that big leap, that big communication will come from that person towards you. And even if it has been a while, a long time, you know, and don't be afraid that even when you see this, it still takes a few couple of weeks or a couple of months. It's coming. Don't worry about the timing. What's meant for us will always find us, basically. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go now into the extended because I also have been looking where this is seeming to be looking really, really positive. But it, because it's based on like Venus retrograde energy, I want to make sure that it lasts for the duration after this Venus retrograde goes direct, because I feel like this is influencing it. So let's see if there's any messages about what happens when the energy goes. Does it, you know, go down? <laughs> does it go down? Does it end? Does anything, does anything that's hidden that you need to know about that might be a hiccup? And if you want to know that, again, the link is just down below. Enjoy me there. Take care.